Hello, everyone, and welcome to Municipality, a podcast exploring the wonders of local government through discussions and special guests. Today, we want to welcome you to the Municipality and introduce you to some of the people in our neighborhood. Welcome to our very first episode, Meet the Neighbors. So, without any further ado, let's meet Matthew. Hello, my name is Matthew Mitnick. I use he, him, his pronouns. I'm entering my senior year at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, studying political science with a certificate in public policy. And right now I am quarantining in my hometown of Thousand Oaks, California, which is just outside Los Angeles. And surviving quarantine has been very interesting. And I think during the pandemic, it's been very interesting for me to analyze how local governments are responding to it and representing their citizens throughout all of this. So currently I'm interning uh, in the Office of City Homelessness Initiatives on the housing team for Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti. And I've been involved in assisting staff with the Project Room Key program, which is something the city is doing um, in partnership with some other stakeholders to lease various hotels and motels to house our homeless population because the city of LA has over 36,000 homeless individuals. So we're also looking at producing supportive housing, housing people in emergency trailers and shelters. So it's been a very fascinating uh, thing to do, especially in COVID-19. And I am also working on a state Senate campaign in Wisconsin, which has been pretty exciting. And other than that, just getting involved in public meetings, a few of my friends and I, some of which are helping out with this podcast, we spoke at the Madison Plan Commission to try to reject a very negative development that would hurt our neighborhood and that students were opposed to for a number of reasons which you may talk about in this podcast, who knows? So the quarantine's been, been, I think, good for participation in local government with virtual meetings and all of that. Um, and then finally, I volunteer with uh, the Thousand Oaks Kiwanis Club, been doing some Meals on Wheels deliveries to seniors. So it's been also interesting to gather once a week virtually with that group as well. Um, with local government, that's kind of been something you know, I don't even know why I've just always been fascinated in it. And, you know, actually, I think that can be attributed to that. It's the closest form of governance to us. And I think it's truly special to not only know who your elected officials are, but for them to have a relationship with you to the point where you can help them draft policy and make the changes that you and your neighbors and friends want to see in your community. And whether it's going on a run in a public park, turning on the faucet to get a glass of water, you know, those simple tasks for them to be able to happen, local government has to be involved in some capacity. Um, So I think kind of my perspective to this podcast would be as a former council candidate in the city of Madison, involved with student government and all these other little projects. I think I I've, worked within local government in a number of advocacy and activist spheres that as a young person, I I feel like I can help someone navigate if, if someone wants to get involved, because it's very hard for young people to get involved. There's a lot of barriers in our way. A lot of people don't take us seriously. So I think that's kind of the perspective I could bring. Um, and just from this podcast experience, honestly, if we can educate people and get people excited and want to get involved, then I think we've done our job. And it would be great for a lot of young people to listen and get involved. But also if there's other people who who are not necessarily younger people, but, but want to learn more about their local government, about what they can do to help, to be an ally, um, especially in the wake of... Um, uh, Black Lives Matter and, and these social justice uh, advocacy measures, like that's really important and local government has a significant role to play. So it's kind of what um, I'm hoping for with this podcast. Next up, we have Sam. Hi there. My name is Sam Jorab, 
My pronouns are he, him, his, and I'm going into my junior year at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, studying international studies and history. I spent the first two months of quarantine back home with my family, but a couple weeks ago I decided to come back to Madison to look for work. I spent most of quarantine just doing schoolwork and spending time with my family, since I haven't been able to see them much the last few years because of school. The first experience I had with local government was being a student representative on my town's planning commission. At the time, I didn't have a clue how important city government was until I got to see zoning get changed and new businesses get recommended to the city council right in front of me. Especially with my hometown being so small, there has been an effort by the city to increase our exposure by introducing popular stores like Starbucks and building apartment complexes on the riverfront. Just in the couple years since I moved, I've seen a lot of changes, and it's exciting. When I moved to Madison, I decided to work on the campaign side of local politics, becoming the campaign treasurer for Matthews Alder campaign, and then soon after, I was on a county supervisor campaign. Since I surround myself with a lot of people who are active in politics, it's pretty rare that I'm not helping somebody with a campaign. What I'd like to see as a result of this podcast is more interest and involvement in local government by young people. I know that I personally have talked to so many people who think local government is just boring and doesn't do anything, but by the end of the conversation, they have a lot of questions. I'm hoping that with this podcast, we can answer those questions before they are even asked. And now, here's Natalia. Hi, my name is Natalia Madrinian. I use she, her pronouns. I'm a junior at George Washington University in DC. I'm a poli-sci and anthropology major with a minor in sustainability. I've been quarantining here in Edina, Minnesota, which is a suburb outside of Minneapolis. And I've been quarantining in, you know, my home with my two parents and then my younger sister and younger brother. And I've been surviving Basically, school kept me busy, and now that school's out, it's trying to find a job, but also starting a million projects like this, and then the work that I do on Sunrise GW. Sunrise is a national organization fighting for a Green New Deal, and, you know, environmentalism, and all that kind of stuff, and so I continue that on my campus, and we're currently fighting for the divestment of fossil fuels at at GW, and then the context of, like, how I um, am involved in local government and my the perspective that I'm trying to bring to this podcast is that I do a lot of activism whether it's in LGBT spaces or my mom and uh, my mom's Argentinian and my dad's Colombian so obviously I care very deeply about immigration um I so that's kind of a uh, perspective that I bring so kind of environmentalism but also kind of uh, immigration but the study of culture obviously an anthropologist I'm really passionate about culture on the small scale and so that's kind of important to me when talking about local government and so activism is super, super important to me. And I, what I'm trying to take away from this podcast experience is to learn a lot about the nitty gritty of local government. I feel like being in DC, a lot of my experiences about federal or maybe even state, if that's even as specific, a lot of stuff is emphasized on the federal, which is kind of the reason I wanted to go there. But now kind of realizing how important local government is through friends like Adrian, but also you know through uh, Matthew's work, I've become a little bit more aware of how important local government is and so I want to learn more about the nitty gritty because I also see how important local movements are through um, activism. So obviously I want to learn more and I'm so excited to bring or hear all these different perspectives and really be able to meet and like learn from amazing people. Okay, let's hear from Adrian next. Hello everyone, I'm Adrian Lampron and I use they them pronouns. I just finished my second year at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, where I study history, political science, and LGBTQ studies. I'm currently quarantining with my family in Edina, Minnesota, which is just outside Minneapolis, and I've been surviving by playing guitar, calling friends, and trying to get outside as much as I can. I started my direct involvement in politics when I was an intern for Philippe Cunningham when he ran for the Minneapolis City Council in Ward 4 in 2017. Eventually, I, once I went to Madison for college, I worked for Matthew Mitnick when he ran for the District 8 Alder on the Madison Common Council, and through that, um, got to know a bunch of the other great people who work on this podcast, and I learned a lot more about Madison politics and housing and developments and things like that, and that's how I got involved in a few um, developments in Madison, which we'll probably end up talking about on this podcast a bit, uh, and I eventually supported the establishment of the Campus Neighborhood Association to kind of institutionalize this 
student activism around um, housing and keeping our neighborhoods and our local government accountable uh, to the needs of students. Because of my background um, in organizing and working in politics, I have kind of uh, a lot of knowledge about the electoral side of local politics, um, but not as much about policy, so I'm really excited to dig deeper into that through this podcast, uh, Municipality. And finally, my name is Kylie Grinwald. I'm a sophomore studying industrial and labor relations at Cornell University in New York, and I use she, her pronouns. I'm an upstate New Yorker during the school year, but I grew up in rural Wisconsin, and that's where I'm spending quarantine. So, I'm more of a business student, but my interest and experience in local government comes from working on some local political campaigns and being a poll worker at elections both in New York and in Wisconsin. I'm hoping to speak on how the labor market and how workers both influence local government and are influenced by local government, and how all of that and those relationships affect Main Street and the business community within our local communities. Okay, now you've met all the neighbors on today's episode of Municipality. Stay tuned, because we hope to introduce you to even more new neighbors and community leaders very soon. If you enjoyed today's episode and want to join our neighborhood, give us a follow on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter at municipality with two underscores at the end. We can't wait for you to join the community. Next time, we're going to dive into a roundtable discussion about a very important institution within our communities, our schools and universities. The neighbors you met today attend three different universities, each in a different state. You'll hear about each community and how it's being affected uniquely by COVID-19, and specifically how schools and universities are adapting and forcing local government and local businesses to adapt as well. Thanks for stopping by today, and we hope to see you again soon in our municipality.